All right, let's imagine that you've got a standard platform controller and you want to make some dash controls inside of your game. I'm going to show you how in this video. So this is just your standard scene. We've got the tile map and the parallax background and the player with the default player script on uh, the exact one that it gives you for a character body 2D. So hopefully this looks familiar and all we need to do is to add in the ability to be able to dash. So step one is we're going to need some variables. We're going to need one variable to control the speed that you'd like to be when you're dashing. I'm going to make this a const just like the standard speed that you see in the basic controller. And we're going to need a variable also to decide on whether we're actually dashing or not. And this will be a true or a false variable. The next step is to check to see if we're actually dashing, if that dashing variable is true. If it is, then we want to be moving at the dash speed rather than at the standard speed. You can do this simply by a simple if l statement and you choose the dash speed or you choose the standard speed based on the dashing boolean. The next step is that we want to add in a key press. So I'm going to do that through the input map in the project settings. So I'm going to add a dash key so that when I uh, press the down on my keyboard, um, I'll be able to set that dashing boolean to true. Then all you need to do is to do a simple if statement to see if we pressed that key pressed, if that is action just pressed, then you can set that boolean to true. Now, if you test this, you'll see that it works. You're able to dash, but the issue here is that once you're dashing, once you press the dash key, you can't stop dashing. So the way to solve this is to simply add a new child node of timer to this player. What we're going to do then is set the time of that timer to the wait time of 0.2 seconds, and then set the signal for the timeout of that timer to uh, fire a piece of code inside the player script. And all that piece of code needs to do is to set that dashing boolean back to false again so that we're not dashing anymore. And the last piece of the puzzle is to make sure that once you press the dash key, you set dashing to true and you also start the dash timer. Now testing this, you'll see that it works, but you can spam the dash button over and over meaning you can infinitely dash, and we want to be able to fix that too. So just add a new variable to your code, make a variable called can dash, and make that equal to true. Then all you need to do is ensure that can dash is true when we press our button for dashing as well as pressing the button. If both of those conditions are true, that means we're going to dash. We're also going to need a timer just like we did with the other one. So we want to set can dash back to true again after a certain length of time. So we'll add another timer to our player. We're going to call this dash again timer. And we're going to make sure that when we do want to dash, we start that timer as well. Then all we want to do is set the timeout of the dash again timer and hook it up to the player script again. And all we need to do is make sure that we set can dash back to true again so that we can dash the next time. And don't forget, when we do dash, we want to set that to false so that we can't dash infinitely. So up in the input action, set can dash to be equal to false after we've done a successful dash. And that is it. We have simple dash controls built on top of a standard character body 2D platform controller in Godot 4.1.